got it. Waging war on corruption. All right, you are go. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines right, of the info war. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Sunday, the 10th day of February, 2013. I am your host, Alex Jones, and Lord willing, we'll be here for the next two hours as we are every Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, it is a big broadcast, obviously, as the world just gets crazier by the minute. In the second hour, I will open the phones up for the families of uh, veterans who have committed suicide. It's 22 a day and growing. Uh, it's, it's growing every month, um, unfortunately. And we're going to look at why this phenomenon is exploding to epic and pandemic proportions. Because the establishment wants to uh, only focus on violence when they can get some power out of it and use the crisis to take basic liberties. They want it swept under the rug dealing with not just suicide of the troops, but will you guys print me suicide now, number one cause of unnatural death in the U.S. Print me that in the 22 uh, a day dead. Thank you, because I'll need that in the second hour. I forgot to have those exhibits for people, for the TV viewers and radio listeners. We are streaming video at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Okay, where to start today? Let me just go over the headlines. Uh, I, in fact, I intended to come in today to talk about the police state, drones, uh, expanded war in the Middle East, Israel strike in Syria, maybe first in a series, Washington Post. But last night and this morning, I uh, watched several times a video that Paul Watson's posting right now at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. World Banker makes stunning confession. And it's James Wolftonson, but it has a couple clips off financial channels, TV as well. Something he said two years ago that we covered at the time, but I was reminded of it, where they talked about how most of the West is going to be poor in the next decade and how the middle class is going to disappear. And he was telling um, top PhD students uh, this here in the United States. What was it? Uh, Stanford Research Institute. Which is about as high level as it gets in actual technocratic training. And I just wanted to point out that this is all an engineered program on record. And I'm going to write an article tomorrow. I'll have to write it tonight uh, with Paul Watson. And then he'll finish it up in the morning. That's going to be published at InfoWars.com, if not tomorrow, Tuesday. But if I procrastinate, it will never get done. Just showing where the globalists admit this is by design. Because this doesn't have to happen. And I saw that video, and it reminded me, I did some more research last night, and sure enough, I go to DrudgeReport.com probably 15 times a day, uh, like I do InfoWars.com, and uh, I realize it's about the two sites now, it's... I got a Wired some too and a couple other CNET, but and I saw these headlines out of Bloomberg: China eclipses U.S. as biggest trading nation measured in goods. And then I saw this other one: Fed holdings of U.S. Uh, government debt hit 1.696691 trillion, up 257 percent under Obama. And I thought I would break this down today. I was already planning it, and I'm glad that uh, Drudge is concerned about it um, because um, this is not a big enough issue out there. I mean, it's not even on the radar screen for, more, uh, for most people. How did we even allow the communist dictatorial Chinese uh, to own our debt? And what is this part of in the future? And again, it's really not our debt. Most of it is derivatives we've signed on to. So I'm going to be breaking down uh, this fact again in more detail today because... Being aware of this is what is going to allow ourselves to extricate ourselves from this engineered system. The globalists have decided to transfer everything to India and China and the third world. They've de and it's not going to benefit their people either. They've decided to impoverish us as a tool of political control. All this and a lot more, a new cybersecurity power grab as well. It's all coming up. I'm Alex Jones, transmitting worldwide. You are listening to The Voice of the Resistance. 
It's no secret that pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, moles, and fungus can inflict severe damage in the human body. Fortunately, a new and vastly improved silver solution has been developed. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary broad-spectrum antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal solution that can be used inside the body as well as on the skin. Supernatural Silver is unique and superior to colloidal and ionic silvers using a patented technology that is highly effective against colds, flus, infections, food poisoning, and yeast, in addition to many other pathogens. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported, extremely safe, and is the number one choice of thousands of people for immune system support. Find out how Supernatural Silver could change your life. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code HEALTHY for 20% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com and like us on Facebook. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Thomas Jefferson. It's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. I love to open the broadcast, especially on the Sunday transmission with the uh, words of Thomas Jefferson. It's like dumping a ocean of holy water on Count Dracula. It is, uh, to the order of 10, uh, the equivalent of drawing uh, your fingernails across a chalkboard for authoritarian, control freak, uh, sycophants worldwide. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for joining us on this Sunday, February 10th, 2013, Global Transmission. Uh, we have a very uh, important broadcast lined up for you yet again today. For all of our AM and FM affiliates across the United States uh, and people listening to the internet streams at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com as well as viewers at InfoWarsNews.com, thank you so much for tuning in today. All right, let me just do this. Let me just try to just go over some headlines for you and then dive in uh, to the top stories that are military, economic, uh, and authoritarian in nature dealing with... Uh, Domestic uh, drones, Pentagon drones being used now uh, in the uh, manhunt for the reported uh, rampaging former cop uh, who's shooting people. And then the police are keep shooting vehicles that aren't even the same color or make and model. They've now attacked and shot up. They're seeing a second, but from my reading, it's the third vehicle that looks nothing like it. I mean, you could be driving a, you could be driving a uh, unicycle and they'd go crazy. What is behind this hysteria? The wicked flee when none pursue. I think it's a Bible verse. I'm not saying the LAPD are all wicked, but this, this is a hysterical activity. Uh, coming up, huge asteroid will miss by 15 minutes. That's what NASA says using a timing of the fact that uh, it was at its speed of 17,000 miles an hour. That's about 15 minutes away from the Earth. Uh, or uh, inside the main uh, belt of satellites, but the asteroid... Uh, is also 17,000 miles away when it passes, not just moving that fast. So NASA says everything's going to be absolutely A-OK. -okay. Uh, and I tend to believe them because if a real asteroid was going to be hitting us, they wouldn't be telling us about it, I can assure you. Uh, but they say in the 100 years or so they've been uh, tracking asteroids uh, with telescopes and radio systems, this is the closest one has ever passed, and it would be hundreds of thousands of megatons, uh, the equivalent uh, of hydrogen bombs going off uh, if it was to actually uh, hit the planet Earth. Okay, so that story uh, is uh, obviously uh, important, but we'll cover it more a little bit later in the transmission. Uh, the storm that hit, has uh, hit the Northeast has killed reportedly 10 people and left millions without power and stranded 700,000 uh, individuals. And... My only question is this, why is FEMA again putting up signs outside their offices saying closed for the storm? I thought they're the people that are going to protect us. Winter storm berries northeast leaves 10 dead, 700,000 powerless. I also was reading stranded. New Englanders are digging out three feet of snow, now it's up to four feet, and stranded motors were still being reached by emergency crews early Sunday. And one of the biggest blizzards in a generation left at least 10 people dead and over 700,000 electricity across the Northeast. Of course, the answer uh, to Nemo or Nemo, the storm, 
uh, is to pay Al Gore more money because every time there's bad weather, hot or cold, Al Gore says pay carbon credits on all carbon dioxide that plants breathe and uh, this bad weather will stop. There's always bad weather somewhere in the world. There's tens of thousands of microclimates uh, in the planet. But that's just some of the news uh, on that front. Uh, Israel is saying they may strike Syria on a routine basis now. And, and again, I'm not an enemy of Israel. But at the same time, uh, Assad didn't attack anybody. He's been pretty mainline the last decade since his dad died. And uh, our government and NATO are putting al-Qaeda in Libya and Syria to take over those countries. And they're engaged in ethnic cleansing of Christians and Muslim minorities, and it's all on record. And you turn on CNN, it's like the valiant freedom fighters move towards Derma Damascus and on and on and on. While they're, they're the ones attacking and they're the ones committing the atrocities, this is not some in internal operation to overthrow uh, the Assad regime. Uh, uh, the, the interests that have hijacked our country, the people that have conquered us through financial fraud, I'm going to get to that in a moment, are the ones using al-Qaeda to, uh, to take over Libya and Syria, and it's totally immoral. It's a preemptive invasion, and some say, oh, come on, Alex, let's get rid of Arab dictators. What, get rid of Mubarak and then put the Muslim Brotherhood in, who are now running around sexually mutilating women and you know, everything else? I, I mean, put, put something 10 times worse in? In fact, how about 100 times worse? Because the Muslim Brotherhood is just funding, fronting for the Saudi Arabia uh, and uh, the jihadis, and now put actual al-Qaeda in Libya and Syria, and they're beheading Christians, and that's in the foreign news, but not on the news here. I mean, it's twilight zone. And then if I fly, the TSA wants to grab my genitals because al-Qaeda might be hiding in my uh, Calvin Klein underwear or might be hiding in my Fruit of the Loom underwear while the government runs al-Qaeda. I mean, uh, listen, I'm done, okay? I'm done. Here's the Washington Post. Israeli strike in Syria might be first in series. And they just say, oh, we've taken four or five miles in of buffer zone. They already took some of that back in the 60s. And why not just take the whole country as a buffer zone? And they say, because of Al-Qaeda. <laughs> You've got to love the fact that Israel, NATO, the United States, that is the interest running these countries. The people are all pretty much the same. They just want a good future for the children whether you're Syrian, Israeli, American, French, pretty much humans are humans, people are people. But just the, the bizarreness that they're doing this and the media is not even making a big issue out of it. Even though we know it's controlled media, this is bizarre. Uh, I mean, this would be like saying Superman is Lex Luthor. You'd go, no, he's not. Superman's the enemy of Lex Luthor. It, it, it's, 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 it's that dumbed down and bizarro, to use another term, out of comic books, that this is going on, that it doesn't even compute for me. I mean, that's how stupid the system thinks you are. The propaganda is targeted at about a third grade level, literally. The bad man wear turban. We take your rights and set up checkpoint for bad man in turban. I'm like, well, Anwar al Awlaki, CIA, it's been leaked and confirmed that he hangs out at the Pentagon and got orders. No, he's bad man in turban. No, no, he, he works for you. What, you say America, Al-Qaeda? No, criminal elements that have hijacked America are using Al-Qaeda to take over whoever they want and to menace us so the system can play the part of the good cop and take our rights. You understand that? The foreign banks are the good cop. The bad cop is Al-Qaeda. It's very elementary. It's very elementary. Senator Palpatine hires mercenaries to attack his own planet to become dictator. That's Star Wars, Episode 3. Five-year-olds can figure it out. Can adults figure it out? Can you figure it out? Can you figure it out? Can you figure it out? That is the $64 trillion question. All right, when we come back here, uh, that's just some of the news. Uh, DHS, Watchdog, OKs, suspicionless seizures of electronic devices along border. And the problem is they grab U.S. citizens' computers and sometimes just don't give them back when you fly in. And then the last time before they got stopped, they were doing it to anybody that flew. They just take your laptop and download the contents without a warrant. Police are now doing this with your cell phones, saying it's not uh, part of your person, papers, or effects. Really, Fourth Amendment, person, papers, or effects. My iPhone is not my effects. 
And then we've got another one even bigger here. CISPA back, hacking, online espionage, resurrect cybersecurity bill, which even CNET News, that CBS says, is Russian or Chinese style internet censorship. So all of that is coming up. But first, when we come back, the top stories. We have been maneuvered by design to be debtors to the communist Chinese. And the globalists are on record saying they're going to impoverish Americans, but also Westerners, as a tool of political control. And I'm going to tie that into the police state. Christopher Dorner, the first U.S. homeland drone strike victim, current TV saying that, the Al Jazeera and Al Gore run system. Uh, and we've got it also out of Reuters, but it's not true because... Look at this. Meet the North Dakota family of anti-government separatists busted by cops using a Predator drone. That was two years ago. They're using drones all the time. The military-industrial complex that Dwight D. Eisenhower warned us about, but I guess he's with Al-Qaeda. If you want an American company with American products made by Americans, here is the Cal Ben Soap Company. Alex and his staff have used these pure soap products for years. These all-natural soaps are made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils that are earth-friendly and safe. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Buy the one to two month sample package and enjoy soaps that are twice as good as what you're using now. Or save big with a one to two year supply of soaps for all your cleaning needs. This is an amazing deal. You can save thousands of dollars and you will love the way real soap makes you feel. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com. And your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. You prepare by purchasing gold, food, and firearms. But if you don't have a home security system, then you're missing a critical weapon in your arsenal for home protection. When you're sleeping or away from home, who's watching out for intruders? Check out Simply Safe. It's a new do-it-yourself home security system that is completely wireless. Go to GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is independent and off the grid. It runs on battery power, so even if the grid goes down, you're protected. It's completely customizable, so you can use it in your home, business, boat, trailer, storage unit, or shed. GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is also ridiculously easy to install yourself in under 20 minutes, so there's no need to let a stranger into your home. If you move or need to relocate, you can take the system with you wherever you go. You aren't always at home, but Simply Safe will stand guard, protecting your property 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Again, that's GetSimplySafe.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. 
Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888 253 3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. All right, welcome back, my friends. Alex Jones here live as we are every Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m., syndicated weekday transmission, of course, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central Standard Time as well. Okay, where to start here? Uh, in the second hour, I'm going to open the phones up specifically for the families and uh, those that have been victimized by the, the epidemic of suicides uh, by active duty, but also of veterans, now 22 a day as of just a few weeks ago. And uh, the mainstream media doesn't want to focus on this. The system, the establishment just wants to wrap itself in the heroism of the men and women of the armed services uh, and their missions and get reflected glory from it and then speak for them while stealing their pension funds, while using them for guinea pigs and medical experiments. The list goes on and on. We're going to really talk about this uh, in the second hour on the Sunday transmission and humanize these folks. You can hear them call in, hear their names. Um, I mean, I myself could go pull up local news articles all over the place. I mean, I know people who've got family in the military who've committed suicide. I know you know people. I mean, it's 22 a day. It's, it's, it's over 10,000 just the last few years. Uh, it, it dwarfs uh, combat-related uh, fatalities. And so you're going to hear all this hype about 20 dead children at Sandy Hook and we need to turn our guns in. Or you're going to hear we got to shut down all of Southern California and have a total police state forever because one individual allegedly goes crazy and kills three police. But you're not going to hear the media get all hysterical and chew their fingernails and hide under the table over 22 service men and women committing suicide every single day. So we're going to be hearing from callers. I mean, I could easily get family you know, members of folks that have died here in studio, but instead we'll just hear from you, specifically if you've lost family, direct family, close relation. And we don't screen calls here, but occasionally I um, give out the number and say, you know, only on this topic. And so it is only on that topic. When I give the number out at the end of the hour, coming up here in about 37 minutes from now. So stand by for that. We want to get your take on the situation and why you think it's happening. I mean, I, I know why it's happening. It's a cocktail of reasons, but uh, too many tours, psychotropic drugs, experimental drug programs, uh, and coming home and there's not being jobs. And a lot of people are scared of vets, and they shouldn't be because statistically, they're not any more violent than anybody else. In fact, they're some of the best workers out there, in my experience. Uh, but you got a lot of people that don't like veterans. And you got Homeland Security saying they're the number one terror threat. Well, I guess if you're afraid of Americans taking the country back ever, I guess the British government listed former veterans of the Redcoats and former veterans of the French and Indian War. Uh, to be uh, rounded up and have their guns turned in in 1775. This isn't the first time corrupt empires have tried to disarm the veterans. <laughs> the, after the czars fell, the Soviets did it. Well, before they became the Soviet Empire, uh, the communists did it. The Bolsheviks did it. I don't want to digress into a history lesson. I'm going to get to that in the next segment uh, on why we've been maneuvered by the globalist to be absolutely bankrupted by design. And, and I want to break down how that ties into Agenda 21. China eclipses U.S.'s biggest trading nation measured in goods, Bloomberg. Uh, and we'll get into what the Federal Reserve's up to now. Now, that's the real Rubicon right there. As of 2012 numbers, they've now come out a month and a half later, as they always do. Uh, oh, the only reason the U.S. is still a bigger GDP than China is the fiat money the Federal Reserve notes, 
and they're they're rapidly devaluing those because here in this article, Fed's holdings of U.S. government debt. Notice it says Fed's. That's the private Federal Reserve, but they're backed up by the Treasury, so they want to buy it because the U.S. taxpayer has to back it up. They buy it with fiat zeros and ones. Federal Reserve just puts it on a balance sheet. They buy our debt and then sell it to the Communist Chinese and others, or hold it. And then we, in turn, the American people, have to pay it back to the Fed, which is the private Federal Reserve set up by Standard Oil and others in 1913. <laughs> it's just a giant. We can't just arrest these people like Bernie Madoff and Ken Lay. I mean, just, it can all end real quick. Sure, it takes some triaging debt, writing it off. They're already writing off this debt, by the way, their, their fake debt. They just use it as a black hole to shove our money into to get us more into debt. Because, again, when you're involved in fiat, the only reason it's valuable is getting us to accept it and believe it's our debt to then get real assets. And it's not just getting the real assets. It's being able to selectively enforce and shut down your competition. You know, just 30 years ago, if you study the history of it, when Republicans got in office, they would audit all the Democrats. That is, Democrats in federal government. They would harass them. When Democrats got in, they would do the same thing. And the kibosh kind of got put on that with Nixon, so I guess about 38 years ago or so. He got in trouble for that. Now, uh, the, the parties don't do it to each other so much because they're all one big criminal gang at the top at the committee chairman level. They do it to the American people. And they do it to former CIA, FBI uh, folks that haven't towed the line. And the words out there, keep your mouth shut or you'll, you, you know, we'll come take everything you got. I mean, it's just such intimidation. They're arresting whistleblowers that expose torture and putting them in jail for 30 months. I mean, you know, the CIA guy last week just got convicted. I mean, this is when liberty and freedom fails, the best men rot in filthy jails. And those that cried, appease, appease, are hung by those they tried to please. I mean, there's no doubt that you know what a red and silver 57 Chevy looks like. You know what a 69 Corvette looks like, don't you? You know what an elephant looks like. This looks like a big, nasty, stinking, dangerous, horrible, aggressive, malignant, super cancer tyranny. Super cancer tyranny. Government gone absolutely crazy, haywire, power trip. From every level, unaccountable. More and more. The only areas of the country still growing, still prospering, despite the depression, are areas that were behind the curve on big government, like Texas. But we're still an incredible third world police state compared to uh, many other uh, areas in our past. It's just that we, we're a part of the body, you know, a group of organs that don't have all the deadly cancer completely yet. You know, we're not going into organ failure yet. So everybody's like running here as a lifeboat. It's being swamped. And the globalist goal is to swamp us, is to sink us. I'm going to explain that in the next segment. In fact, I said in the next segment, I'm already into the next segment. I haven't gotten to my next big uh, piece of news. When we come back, I'll get into Christopher Dorner. And again, the, the story is overblown and hyped. But in the story, you can educate and inform people about how the world really works. So uh, it is a treasure trove, despite the fact that it's a tragedy, to understand the mind of megalomania and delusional fruitcakeism. I mean, the gleam in the sky's eyes, the pride. You can look at his manifesto all of it. This is real. Uh, this isn't one of their staged events. Uh, it illustrates the spirit infecting government. We'll be right back. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. 
Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at InfoWars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Looking back on 2012, I know personally I'm thanking God that my family and I made it through the year. From natural disasters like Hurricane Sandy and the devastating summer drought to the family hardships brought on by a disastrous economy, our hearts go out to those that have lost everything. My friends at eFoods Direct hear from customers every day that are fortunate to weather life's storm by having a supply of food on hand. Danny from New York City wrote in following Hurricane Sandy and said, Almost all the grocery stores are closed, but I managed to get my eFoods just in time to be able to help my sister and my niece. Bottom line, it's better to be prepared 10 years too early than one day too late. Heed Common Sense's warning and do what I've done. Call 800-409-5633 today or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. They have the best tasting long-term storable food on the planet. Call 800-409-5633 and ask about the Alex Jones special or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Get self-sufficient today. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Now that we have moved into the winter season, there is an increased need to support our immunity and health. At Silver Lungs, we are committed to meeting your needs by providing a full selection of silver-based products. Our most popular silver-based products are the 32-ounce Nano Silver Solutions, our 2-ounce Nano Silver Nasal Applicators, as well as our all-natural silver soaps. Just released is our 100% natural silver gel. Our new silver gel is not based on synthetic gelling agents, which quickly evaporate and leave the silver at the surface. But rather, we have formulated our silver gel using the natural skin nourishing chemistry of aloe vera to quickly penetrate and nourish the skin while delivering the silver more effectively. Visit www.silverlungs.com and click on our store page to find what silver-based products are best for you. That's www.silverlungs.com. It's no secret that pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, moles, and fungus can inflict severe damage in the human body. Fortunately, a new and vastly improved silver solution has been developed. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary broad-spectrum antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal solution that can be used inside the body as well as on the skin. Supernatural Silver is unique and superior to colloidal and ionic silvers using a patented technology that is highly effective against colds, flus, infections, food poisoning, and yeast, in addition to many other pathogens. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported, extremely safe, and is the number one choice of thousands of people for immune system support. Find out how Supernatural Silver could change your life. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code HEALTHY for 20% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com and like us on Facebook. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. He aligns himself with the truth, and it's time for you to choose a side. You're listening to Alex Jones. There is no turning back on the road, on the run. The news websites are Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And the site where we have the nightly news, weeknight 7 o'clock, we also stream video of the weekday radio show. And, of course, uh, the Sunday 4 to 6 special transmission are all streamed at InfoWars News. That's one word, InfoWarsNews.com. That will take you over to PrisonPlanet.tv. Okay, where to begin on this subject of Christopher Dorner? I covered some of this on Friday, the MO. When does something have the telltale signs of being staged? When doesn't it? When the media seizes on something instantly with a scripted focus of talking points, 
they are using a crisis to take liberties or they allowed it to happen or are involved. And there have been cases of all of those permutations on record of staged events or provocateur events throughout history, not just with our government, but countless other governments. I've read the manifesto, the two manifestos, and it fits into the narcissistic kind of mental illness of someone who's kicked out of the party. You know, oh, special ops, anti-terror training, and then assigned, a guy that's going to be Jack Bauer, 24. And then he's assigned to the LAPD and all the corruption he sees. And he says that, you know, he sees racism. And so now the media is like, maybe it is racism. We're going to reopen his firing case in 2007, 2008. And, uh, you know, all of this tells you that it's a real event. Now, regardless of all of this, they could certainly piggy bank uh, other things on it to kind of use this down the road to save this crisis, to put it in that political piggy bank to use the Capitol later. California has introduced legislation uh, that makes people turn in all their semi-automatics. It, 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 that's going to cause even faster exodus from California which is exactly what the globalists want. They want it to implode so they can consolidate power. Uh, but regardless, you've had now several vehicles uh, shot up. One case wasn't even a truck. And another case was the wrong make and model, wrong color. The guy had a silver truck. It's a blue truck with women in it. And there's no apologies. It, it's just we're scared. And the image of tens of thousands of police up in the snow-capped mountains of California uh, running around in giant armored combat gear that they can hardly walk in. It, it, it's ridiculous. Police officers are supposed to be investigators. They're supposed to be community service. They're supposed to be peacemakers. They're supposed to be peace officers. But see, they've militarized police and made them part of Homeland Security. And, and military goes and kills people and breaks things. And so that's the military we have here domestically now. And you're going to have some of their people go haywire um, because they're, they're, they've been educated and trained and prepped and prepared. I mean, if you trained a pit bull all day to go out and attack people, don't be surprised when it goes out and attacks people. You're like, yeah, but they're supposed to target terrorists or they're supposed to target bad guys. Well, what if the system is the bad guys? It, it's going to turn inward on itself. And the larger issue in all of this is you've got one guy that's killed three people and shot two others, allegedly, reportedly. And you've got the police. Because I've watched it on the news. You've watched it, the photos, the combat gear, the, the beat cops walking around with uh, sound suppression silencers on 308s, Reapers. Uh, M4, M16s, you name it. And the cops literally are acting like they could die any minute. I mean, I go do speaking engagements and don't have any security there to check anybody. And I walk out and talk to 2,000 people and I'm not even scared. I just walk out there. Something's going to happen. It's going to happen. Just like I drove here today. The, the most dangerous thing you can do is drive. And, and I don't know, shaking and scared the whole time. I, I try to drive defensively, but... It just shows the cultural mind control because I've watched a lot of this and I've watched local news feeds and these aren't cops that know they're being videotaped out of store windows by, by the local news. I mean, I mean, the cops are running around in a giant drama queen, pity party. Uh, we have become a nation of drama queens, not just the police. And not all police departments are like this. And I know some LAPD people as well, and they never acted like this. I mean, this is drama queen central. And the globalist plan on record now to have a civil war that they instigate and start in this country by targeting gun owners, harassing gun owners. When gun owners start fighting back, start resisting, they're going to be called terrorists. And a lot of people are going to say, okay, I'm a terrorist. I'm going to start going out there and going after people. And, and I've always made this point. We don't want to go there. That's the last place we want to be. See, I'm not a guy dressed up in a bunch of Darth Vader gear trying to act tough and standing there on a street corner trying to scare little kids. You understand? I've really studied history. I know what a real war will be. 
I know the globalists want it because they win either way because it's going to destroy our economy and destroy our culture. But the entire preparation isn't to fight Al Qaeda now. In the training manuals, the TV shows, the, the dramas on TV to get the public ready for it, like I hate Paul Revere and Founding Fathers, that the new Al Qaeda is gun owning conservatives. That's the new West Point reports, two different ones saying the Tea Party's going to join Al Qaeda. And you know that's ridiculous. They don't care. Maybe 10% of the public's Tea Party, they're going to tell the 90% that we're Al Qaeda. West Point now teaches that. The Army War College now teaches that. They have TV shows because it's not real like Founding Fathers where the militia leader is really Al-Qaeda, but the militia doesn't know. You're like, but that's just ridiculous. I mean, the Tea Party would never, it doesn't matter. It's on TV. And you've got a bunch of people like these cops in L.A. who statistically, more of them are going to die this week in car wrecks and more citizens are going to die with scared cops shooting them. They pulled a guy over and he was white in a car, not a truck, and they shot him. They said, okay, you can go. And then as he drove off, they shot him. They shot up his vehicle. Just craziness. Just, just, just absolute mania because they're trained and they watch these cop shows and terror shows all day that Al-Qaeda is hiding under every chair and right-wingers are hiding everywhere. You're going to go out now and start fights with people. You know, I've talked about how I, I get sick of bike riders on the hike and bike trail. When there's a 10-foot wide trail, they'll come over in your area and say, get out of their way. Most of them are very nice. But I was out hiking while I was running up a hill with my buddy the other day, Richard. Uh, I'm going to tell the story to, you know, bring it all together to admit I do this too. And these bike riders come down the big 15-foot wide hill. And they're on their side. I'm on mine. And the guys kind of get a little bit close to me. And one guy goes, hey. Get out of the way, Alex. And I turned around to the guy and I said, what did you say? And he goes, I'm talking to this guy. And Richard goes, yeah, no, no. He, he was saying, get out of my way or get off the brakes. I'd miss that part. The guy's named Alex up there. It's like David or John. And but, but here I am. I'm not taking crap off anybody. Okay, and, and that wasn't intended for me, and I wasn't looking for a fight. I just can't help it. I turned around and said, what would you say to me? And I just got to learn to not go off half-cocked. Well, it's the same system. The police are out there just looking for terrorists everywhere, and you're going to make the people that, pushing us around, getting in our face. And look, the military and the Pentagon knows this. When they're actually trying to take over an area, they kiss everyone's butt, treat them with great respect, give them all sorts of cash, free stuff, because you want the, the hearts and minds. When you look at what the globalists are doing, and it's not just me looking at what they're doing, I've got all their white papers and reports, they say they're going to start a civil war in America where the right wing and libertarians have a shooting war with the police, then they'll bring in the UN, the communist, and I-4 after we've all killed each other. I've got an idea. Let's not play this game. How's that sound? Let's figure out the scam. Let's figure out how this really works and let's go around it. You prepare by purchasing gold, food, and firearms. But if you don't have a home security system, then you're missing a critical weapon in your arsenal for home protection. When you're sleeping or away from home, who's watching out for intruders? Check out Simply Safe. It's a new do it yourself home security system that is completely wireless. Go to GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is independent and off the grid. It runs on battery power, so even if the grid goes down, you're protected. It's completely customizable, so you can use it in your home, business, boat, trailer, storage unit, or shed. GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is also ridiculously easy to install yourself in under 20 minutes, so there's no need to let a stranger into your home. If you move or need to relocate, you can take the system with you wherever you go. You aren't always at home, but Simply Safe will stand guard, protecting your property 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Again, that's GetSimplySafe.com. Looking back on 2012, I know personally I'm thanking God that my family and I made it through the year. From natural disasters like Hurricane Sandy and the devastating summer drought to the family hardships brought on by a disastrous economy, our hearts go out to those that have lost everything. My friends at eFoods Direct hear from customers every day that are fortunate to weather life's storm by having a supply of food on hand. Danny from New York City wrote in following Hurricane Sandy and said, Almost all the grocery stores are closed, but I managed to get my eFoods just in time to be able to help my sister. 
sister and my niece. Bottom line, it's better to be prepared 10 years too early than one day too late. Heed Common Sense's warning and do what I've done. Call 800-409-5633 today or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. They have the best tasting long-term storable food on the planet. Call 800-409-5633 and ask about the Alex Jones special or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Get self-sufficient today. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. If you want an American company with American products made by Americans, here is the Cal Ben Soap Company. Alex and his staff have used these pure soap products for years. These all-natural soaps are made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils that are earth-friendly and safe. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Buy the one to two month sample package and enjoy soaps that are twice as good as what you're using now. Or save big with a one to two year supply of soaps for all your cleaning needs. This is an amazing deal. You can save thousands of dollars and you will love the way real soap makes you feel. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. It's no secret that pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, moles, and fungus can inflict severe damage in the human body. Fortunately, a new and vastly improved silver solution has been developed. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary broad-spectrum antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal solution that can be used inside the body as well as on the skin. Supernatural Silver is unique and superior to colloidal and ionic silvers using a patented technology that is is highly effective against colds, flus, infections, food poisoning, and yeast, in addition to many other pathogens. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported, extremely safe, and is the number one choice of thousands of people for immune system support. Find out how Supernatural Silver could change your life. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code HEALTHY for 20% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com. And like us on Facebook. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Leading a frontal assault on the lies of the New World Order, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Coming up in the next hour, that's only about 14 minutes away or so, we're going to start talking to the family members of servicemen and women that have committed suicide, a unprecedented epidemic, seven times what it was at the end of the Vietnam era, the previous record for suicides. I want to focus in on this and humanize uh, these heroes the media wants to ignore. They want to use their heroics to try to sell the globalist tyranny agenda, but actually dehumanize the individual. So here's the toll-free number. I know it's hard to talk about, but we'd like to uh, hear from you. The toll-free number to join us is 877-789-ALEX. That's 877-789-2539. We have a different number here on the Sunday show than the weekday show because Genesis takes our calls and routes them through. Uh, on the weekday show, we're doing it all produced here in-house in Austin, Texas on Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, 877-789-ALEX, 877-789-2539. And we'd uh, like to hear you uh, talk about w what happened and why you think it happened uh, in the next hour. Okay, so that said, you've got the slow militarization of police. It actually started uh, with Daryl Gates and the CIA, that's been declassified, wanting to militarize police back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. It started in L.A. as the model. They had shows like SWAT, and pretty soon every department wanted to be paramilitary. Uh, and the military trains to kill people and break things and fight an enemy. So if you have a domestic military, who do they fight? Well, us, the enemy. And the, the mainline Army and Marines have resisted this mission because they constitutionally have had it handed down that that's illegal. The country started over troops on the streets and gun confiscation in 1776. So what they're doing is just finding cops that'll do it. 
And uh, a lot of these guys that are really true soldiers and, and, and are tough, uh, you know, the tougher somebody is, the meaner somebody is, the nicer they are, and the more they're not looking for trouble. And uh, the more they're also intelligence tends to go with the package. Uh, and so your real warriors don't want to go around dominating men, women, and children. So they find the swollen, roid head, tough guy. They'll always have that gleam in their eye, that big smile. They think they're rock stars. This is a bunch of dress-up time, like three-year-old girls dressing up like princesses or boys dressing up like Spider-Man. You know, and that's fine when you're five years old or three years old. You're supposed to give that up when you get older. And I see so many of these cops that you get in your face or start fights with people. You've seen the videos online where somebody's done nothing wrong and they attack them. Or There's a story up at DrudgeReport.com on the right-hand side down towards the bottom now. That's an InfoWars.com report where before this thing in California started, uh, what is it, San Bernardino, these people are out there mile off the road in the mountains hiking and a police helicopter flies around in circles and lands and is like, why are you videotaping me? I'm going to search you without a warrant. Turned out they had no reason. It was just pure harassment. And that, that, that town and county is going bankrupt, but they've got a whole bunch of helicopters. And it's just that attitude of if you're going to be in a uniform and be packing heat, you better respect it. But see, government is kind of ganged up now to not respect that. Well, you're not going to be respected like our Mexican police respected. Our North Korean police respected. No, they're not. Uh, in Spain, uh, they don't respect the police anymore. They were respectable in times past. More and more in Germany, they're not respected because they act like a bunch of thugs. In Russia, they're not respected. In fact, most places, everybody knows, the police are crooks in uniforms. And, you know, if you're a good cop in those departments, you're out of the force or you're a joke. You're compartmentalized and they laugh at you because you won't take the hookers and the money and all the rest of it. And believe me, folks, just in my life, the things I've run into in Dallas and Los Angeles and New York, the parties I've been at, the things I've seen, and I'm sure you've seen it too. I mean, it's the police delivering the drugs to the party. It's the police running the hookers. It's the, and again, I'm at places that aren't even, you know, party places. And I'm like, I'm getting out of here. And I've run into this throughout my life. Stop being naive. Government is dangerous. You better keep it small. You better keep it under control or it will eat your lunch. You keep it on a leash or it'll put you on one. That's an Alex Jones quote right there. You keep government on a short leash or it's going to put you on one. Their officials, their authorities, they fly on Air Force Ones. They've got the red carpet. They're kings. Government is kings. And through that above the law power, everyone that works for the government is now a lord. Well, my forebearers fought against that and I'm not going along with it. But news flashed all the tough guys that are training for this civil war, and it's not Al-Qaeda pop-up targets now. It's guys with John Deere hats that actually have these, you know, good old boys you're practicing killing. Let me tell you, you better hope the globalist civil war doesn't start. You're scared to death. They, they've got patrol cops off the streets on motorcycles or foot because of one guy in Southern California, a state of 38 million people, 20-something million of them in Southern California. You, you start a fight with 160 million gun owners. You let the global social engineers start this, the Bolshevik collectivist. You, you let them get you into this while they sit back. Do you have any idea what's going to happen if 1% of that 1 point, if 1% of that 160 million fight back and just go out and, and go after one person and then disappear never seen again? That's 1.6 million combatants. Can you do the math? That's as many police there are in this country. Oh, but that's part of the globalist plan. They're, they plan to have patriots engage in a night of the long knives. You don't know what that is. Look it up. Against you. That was Hitler's purge of the military and police that had helped him come to power, but still did it because they were scared of him or were intimidated into it. And then Hitler had several other purges. And so did Fidel Castro. So did Hugo Chavez, so did Stalin, so did Lenin, so did Mao, so did Pol Pot, so did the leader of the North Vietnamese, Ho Chi Minh. See, I know history. That's why I'm so freaked out right now. I know history.
And I know there's a global corporate crime syndicate that's bought off all major governments and mopping up the few little governments they didn't control, playing us off against each other. And they want the patriots and the police and the military to kill each other. And every preparation they've made is for this. And Homeland Security is for this. And now the TV shows are about how this is coming. The dramas show that your wife, your husband, your neighbor, your school teacher, your boss is now being taught guys that wear Gadsden flag shirts, guys that talk about George Washington, guys that talk about the Second Amendment, guys that talk about the New World Order. Oh, they're really Al-Qaeda. Now, if you're informed, that's ridiculous. But you see, it doesn't matter. They're targeting Joe Dumbo six-pack out there. Sally Shocker Mom, who doesn't know her head from a hole in the ground. Now, again, when we start the next hour, we're going to take about 45 minutes of people that have lost family members to suicide in the military. I know it's hard to talk about, but we need to humanize this situation. We need to, 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 to focus on this epidemic that's coming up in the next hour for most of the next hour. I will spend the last segment on some of the most important info, but, but let me just give you that number, 877-789-ALEX, 877-789-2539. Uh, for, for families that have lost people to suicide, or if you're in the military and you've lost a friend, I should add that. Um, I'm, I meant to add that at the start of the broadcast. If, if you had a buddy uh, who committed suicide, you know, what led to that? What do you think caused that? Why is it epidemic? We should be talking about this. Like, why is breast cancer epidemic? Almost 3,000 percentage points what it was in the 50s. Here in the United States, we lead the world. Why is breast cancer epidemic? I know why. It's estrogen mimickers and the plastics and the food. The studies are out there, but it's never on the news. That's why girls are having babies at eight years old, going to puberty at three years old now. Puberty average was 14 years old and back in the 50s. Now it's about 10. Three-year-olds uh, are going into puberty now. Don't believe me, just type it into a search engine. Eight-year-olds are having babies. Seven-year-olds are having babies. Women are hyper-feminized. The plastics make the men become feminized. I mean, I know the reason, but see, should it be find a cure to breast cancer or find out why it's happening? If you had like a thousand people a day getting hacked up with machetes, you want to know who's doing this, not let's find a cure to machete hacks. You know, it's the same thing. So we're going to be talking about that, but I'll get into after we take about 45 minutes of calls on this all-important subject. We're going to get into the video that's now up at Infowars.com. Because the globalists admit they're planning this. World banker makes stunning confession. James Wolftonson, former um, top globalist World Bank president, Bilderberg Group member, just bragging how they're going to make the West poor. See, th once they've done that, it's game over. Once you're living in a dirt floor deal with two, two hours of electricity a day and your kid's basically on the edge of starvation, you're not going to be so uppity anymore. You see, the global mega rich don't want free market. They don't want wealth. They're going to try to drowned the free market and make us all poor and i don't like it and i believe you you need to know about the real war going on those of you want to act like you're real men the real fight's happening right now second hour's coming up tell your friends and family to tune in right now however you're listening you may be arrested and or subject to other police action tyranny is here the grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. 
Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics Advanced Media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides herbicides, chloramines, ammonia and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The reported shooter of the police has put out a new statement. We'll uh, see if that's uh, for real. But again, it could be staged as well. My gut says it's real just by looking at the way the, the establishment's responding, how it was floated out there. You can disagree with me if you want. Uh, but um, accused killer cheered by the left. We are all Chris Dorner. These people are so sick. A pro-gun control guy. See, I haven't even seized on that to demonize the gun grabbers. Just truly disgusting. Absolutely, truly Truly disgusting. So we're going to be uh, breaking some of that, uh, some of that down. Uh, now, now here's the deal. I can open the phones up to Australia and have you know 15 people calling from Australia, and I can open the phones up uh, to police and have 15 police call in. Uh, and that was something I was thinking about having the police call in and give their take on uh, this Dorner. Look at this headline: CBS News support growing for former LA officer accused of killing spree. Good. God, yeah, and they're like, oh, we're going to open the case for you while you were fired. It's such political correctness, you know, like, well, if it's like Django, you're killing evil white people, you know, that's okay. Man, I tell you, this is sick. See, that's how, that's when you really know they're spinning it and they weren't behind it, is when they're like saying it's now a good thing. I <laughs> just can't you imagine. Anyways, we haven't gotten but one call from someone who says they lost a family member from suicide in the military. And I know this is an epidemic, 22 people a day. I know it's hard to talk about. Uh, if you've lost uh, you know, a buddy in the military to suicide uh, or, 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 or you knew people well that did, uh, we'd like to hear from you because it's important. It hasn't been given the focus it needs. 877-789-ALEX, 877-789-ALEX, 877-789-2539. That's the Sunday phone number to call. But, Chris, you're coming up in the next segment. Let's get to John in Colorado, and then Kathy, Jay, and Jeffrey first. Uh, John, you're on the air. Go ahead. All righty. Uh, we going to take that call or that phone system down. Let's talk to Kathy in Oregon. Kathy, you're on the air. Alex, um, you know, I always say uh, if you don't stand for something, you would fall for anything. And, uh, you know, I've been listening to your show here for the past week or so, and you've been talking about this guy in California, this AWOL officer um, or former officer, and, you know, it's just so hard to believe anything the media says, you know, and I don't know, where is this guy, you know? And, but uh, see, they weren't ready for it. They didn't have the jump. It doesn't fit what would help them. You understand? You know, I mean, again, I've studied him so long, but, I mean, do you disagree? Well, here's the thing. I mean, these guys, the government, they're so diabolical. They could just, you know, say that he's Obama, um, Piers Morgan lover, to make it look like they're not involved. And, you know, whatever the, the thing they're trying to use this... Uh, whole uh whatever uh whatever they're trying to use this for whatever purpose you know it could be staged you know for the california gun grab i mean it just stinks well absolutely well, they, they are trying to ban uh and make you turn in all the semi-autos right now but 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 i mean here's the deal there's 315 million people and growing there are going to be real people that go out and shoot people and we're going to have good guys take out a bad guy with guns 
Just because there's a bad guy doesn't mean we all give our guns up. We have to point that out. Just because somebody stabs somebody to death, we don't turn our knives in. I know the M.O. of the narcissistic government types that think they're Rambo. I've talked a lot about it. And, and they would put out a manifesto that would be pro-gun if they were going to stage this. I know them. They target the lowest common denominator. This is exactly what I would expect out of a authoritarian uh, libtard, as they're known. Uh, this is exactly the type of stuff that, that would be real. I mean, I'm just saying I read it. It, it reads like it's real. I mean, I, there's so many little essences that go into the statement like that. It's my gut. And... Uh, it's, it's, it's just the facts. You know, I think Al Gore won the 2000 election. I hate Al Gore, but the evidence was he won. I, uh, Mitt Romney won this election. There was election fraud. Evidence is that. Doesn't mean I like Mitt Romney. It's just a fact. I believe this, from the evidence we've got, is real. Uh, now, he could be some military mental patient, uh, uh, mind control, who went off the rails. That could be it, too. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Syndicated transmission, InfoWars.com, XM166. But also Sundays for live. And we are live right now, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, the Sunday show's not on XM yet. And I've not ever really lobbied them, but I think we're going to lobby them next week. So call XM of your subscribers. Tell them you want the Sunday show on XM. Uh, as well. And if you're listening on an AM or FM station, whether it's 590 AM right now or, you know, Bakersfield, California or LA, California or wherever it is, be sure and uh, spread the word about the broadcast and thank them for carrying the show. Uh, finishing up, um, I I'm seeing comments on Infowars.com and the articles. Why isn't Alex talking about uh, the alleged reported a uh, person behind the killing spree in California, the former LAPD cop, Christopher Dorner, and his gun control love. Yes, the manifesto loves Obama, uh, says the citizens should have all their guns taken. You can go read the quotes. Uh, and he's reportedly issued a new statement. We're, we're, we're vetting that right now. Uh, and uh, But all I know is CBS News is saying support growing for former L.A. officer accused of killing spree. I mean, if, if that isn't sick, if that isn't sick, uh, they're now uh, coming out, and, and the head of the LAPD, the chief, has said they're going to reopen his firing case. Uh, I mean, this is just sickening. I mean, this is sickening, whether the guy did it or not. Uh, the fact they're like, oh, yes, more portal, sweetsy cake. Uh, I mean, this is crazy. Can you imagine if a Tea Party or a conservative, a libertarian, a gun owner, I don't care what color they were, came out and did this, it would be the end of the world. I mean, as gun owners, we were told it was our fault. It was our fault Sandy Hook happened when statistically mass shootings are 88 people a year and about half of those are gangbangers killing each other. You got about 42 people a year dying in real mass shootings out of 315 million. I mean, violent crimes since 1991 has dropped 49%, FBI.gov, real statistics. 
You never hear that on the news. It's all how gun owners are killing the children. We got a right to be gun free. Except for the predator drones you're using in California. And they're saying this is the first time ever drones have been used against someone. No, they're not. Daily Mail. Meet the North Dakota family of anti-government separatists busted by cops using a predator drone after stealing six cows. Which they had and the cows kept breaking into their property. So by common law, they took them for the cost. They've had our cows taken before the third or fourth time they break into somebody's property. Nothing you can do. It's not very neighborly, but nothing you can do. You know, the last thing we need to do is demonize the American people for stuff like this. So uh, let's get that straight. But yes, yes, this 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 guy's manifestos are are just how much he loves Biden, how cool he is, and how only law enforcement, ooh, the new royalty, can have guns. I mean, on and on and on. And I, for one, am sick of it. Okay, look, I got loaded phone lines here, but only a couple of them are people who lost family to suicide. And so we're going to go through those calls and then get to other people that are calling in or saying they lost family from being on serotonin reuptake inhibitors, the Prozac uh, family of drugs. But let me just, before I go to your calls uh, here briefly, give you a couple of uh, headlines here. Uh, this is uh, Forbes. Suicide rate among vets and active duty military jumps now to 22 a day. Almost once an hour, every 65 minutes to be precise, a military veteran commits suicide. And that's a new investigation by the Department of Veterans Affairs. Yeah, it's actually far worse than that. This is roughly sevenfold the height of suicides in 1975 at the end of the Vietnam War when people felt depressed. Uh, amazing. Now, again, it doesn't get the attention it deserves. Suicide now America's leading cause of death by injury. New study shows. That's uh, Huffington Post and ABC News. Who knew the leading cause of death is suicide? Unnatural death. Yeah, the AR-15 isn't even the top 500. <laughs> but if you watch Pierce Morgan, you'd think it was the bathtubs killed 20-something thousand a year. Okay? You're going to ban those? Look at this deadly... Ba we should do a skit where we, like, talk about an assault tub and, like, I guess shoot a bathtub then because it's so evil. In fact, let's do it. Let's go buy a bathtub at a shooting range, and I'll go shoot it with a 50 cal Tuesday. We're already going shooting, so... Oh, boy. I'm losing my mind here. Okay. Enough of that. I'm going to get into the economy after we take about 45 minutes of calls and why we're being bankrupted by design. State of the Union, China eclipses U.S. as biggest trading nation. Uh, we're going to be getting to all of that. But, I mean, now the mainstream media, I've got multiple mainstream news articles going, hey, he's killing people because they're white. And, I mean, the whites are evil. D D Django kills whites. I mean, you know. By the way, he's a big fan of Django. Support growing for former L.A. officer accused of killing spree. It's up at DrudgeReport.com on the right-hand side. It's also up at InfoWars.com. Let's, let's punch that up. Trail goes very cold. One million reward. Accused killer cheered by left. We are all Chris Dorner now. I got to turn my guns in because one of your little program government bots. Man, I've seen that smile so much. So proud to be a government bureaucrat. Everybody else is scum but you. Oh, yes. Oh. And he wants to reportedly kill their families. Oh, yeah, that, that's that's nice. Kill their families because uh, he's out randomly shooting cops, reportedly. These people are so sick. I mean, all I ever hear about from the so-called left or a bunch of authoritarians is how once they get power, how they're going to kill libertarians. You know, I'll keep my guns, scum. How's that sound? And you can get them from my cold, dead hands. You want me to be your property, your mule pulling your plow. It ain't happening, turds. Okay, just get that through your little heads. <sighs> Man. All right, I apologize for ranting there. Uh, let's go uh, now talking about the, the suicide and the troops to Chris in Colorado. Chris, tell us who you knew and who committed suicide and what you think was behind it. What is behind the epidemic of military personnel committing suicide, Chris? Well, I, I personally definitely think since they use our troops as guinea pigs from the time that they begin training, it's the combination of the vaccines and the gases and even down to the food that they expose our troops to is the whole time that they're enlisted and their name and life is on that paper is that they're being tested and it's on a biological level. And now that we see the increased amount of suicides, that's next what they plan for the American people. And everyone out there listening right now, every time they see a military and police 
they need to go out of their way to walk up to them and shake their hand, thank them for the oath that they swore to the Constitution, and then talk to them on those. That's right. Don't level. don't thank them for serving in a globalist war for OPM or oil or whatever. Thank them or or war for globalism. Thank them for defending the Bill of Rights and Constitution and following their oath, something the system is so afraid of and oath keepers. I totally, absolutely agree with you. And fight for the military. I fought for the military to not be given the experimental smallpox shot that killed so many of them in 02. They had to stop it uh, 10 years ago. I fought to get the deadly experimental anthrax shot stopped that killed so many. You know, they use, listen, they use the troops to get all sorts of approval where you've got to do human testing of dangerous vaccines and stuff. It's illegal to make troops take experimental vaccines. They're the only group you can make take approved vaccines, FDA approved. But they've got rights like we do too. Do I mean, folks, do troops have rights? Because everybody says, oh, the troops are God, but then, oh, they don't have rights to say no to an anthrax shot. Yes, they do. And it's up to us to inform them. I talked to a gun shop owner, one of the biggest in the country. The head of tactical firearms. It's on video, and he says, uh, "Well, you know, it's the law. I've got a you know report when somebody buys a gun to the ATF. It's already registered. There is no law. It's a ATF order, just to see if you'll do something that's not the law. It's all color of law." Now, now t tell us who you lost in your family. Well, it's 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 real personal. I don't want, I don't want to get emotional on the phone right now. But again, reminding their service members and the police by just shaking their hand and, and looking in their face. It really means a lot to them, the family members, and especially the police. I mean, a lot's going on right now. We need to stay together as a nation and as families and as people. That's why they want to divide us. Listen, Chris, can we come back to you? I know you don't want to share this. It's painful for you, but we need to humanize, whether it was your dad, your brother, your uncle. I mean, was it your dad, your brother, your uncle? Who was it? Let me pull it together. You can come back to me. Let's... All right, I'll come back to you after the break. We'll be right back after this quick break, and we've got others calling in who lost family to this. They make them serve up to 10 tours, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody ever made them serve more than one. If you want an American company with American products made by Americans, here is the Cal Ben Soap Company. Alex and his staff have used these pure soap products for years. These all-natural soaps are made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils that are earth-friendly and safe. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Buy the one to two month sample package and enjoy soaps that are twice as good as what you're using now. Or save big with a one to two year supply of soaps for all your cleaning needs. This is an amazing deal. You can save thousands of dollars and you will love the way real soap makes you feel. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. You prepare by purchasing gold, food, and firearms. But if you don't have a home security system, then you're missing a critical weapon in your arsenal for home protection. When you're sleeping or away from home, who's watching out for intruders? Check out Simply Safe. It's a new do-it-yourself home security system that is completely wireless. Go to GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is independent and off the grid. It runs on battery power, so even if the grid goes down, you're protected. It's completely customizable, so you can use it in your home, business, boat, trailer, storage unit, or shed. GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is also ridiculously easy to install yourself in under 20 minutes. So there's no need to let a stranger into your home. If you move or need to relocate, you can take the system with you wherever you go. You aren't always at home, but Simply Safe will stand guard, protecting your property 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Again, that's GetSimplySafe.com. Looking back on 2012, I know personally I'm thanking God that my family and I made it through the year. From natural disasters like Hurricane Sandy and the devastating summer drought to the family hardships brought on by a disastrous economy, our hearts go out to those that have lost everything. My friends at eFoods Direct hear from customers every day that are fortunate to weather life's storm by having a supply of food on hand. Danny from New York City wrote in following Hurricane Sandy and said, Almost all the grocery stores are closed, but I managed to get my eFoods just in time to be able to help my sister 
sister and my niece. Bottom line, it's better to be prepared 10 years too early than one day too late. Heed Common Sense's warning and do what I've done. Call 800-409-5633 today or go to efoodsdirect.com forward slash Alex. They have the best tasting long-term storable food on the planet. Call 800-409-5633 and ask about the Alex Jones special or go to efoodsdirect.com forward slash Alex. Get self-sufficient today. Call 800-409-5633 or efoodsdirect.com forward slash Alex. Alex Jones here with a very important announcement for Truth Seekers. We've carried a lot of amazing films and books over the years on the online video bookstore at Infowars.com. And out of all the titles we've carried, one stands out because it is just so chillingly convincing. And that's Dreams from My Real Father by Joel Gilbert, available at Infowars.com. This film exposes the fraud that Obama is like nothing I've seen. If you want to know who Obama's real daddy is, this is the film for you. Don't forget, your purchase supports our broadcast and our growing media network. You'll also find at InfoWarsShop.com, None Dare Call a Conspiracy by Gary Allen, the book that woke me up. We're also carrying Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21 by Rosa Corey. This book is coffin nails to the globalist takeover. The Greater Good, the most professional and up-to-date film I've ever seen exposing the scourge that is vaccines. These titles and a lot more are all available at InfoWarsShop.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. All right, Chris, Ron, Sandy, Matt, James, Rick, uh, those first six callers, how they've all lost family to suicide. I think all of them but one uh, from military suicide. The issue is, why is this happening? Why is it epidemic? Well, I saw a story two years ago that the uh, Big Ten insurance companies got together back in 99 with Clinton and the Republicans and said, let's do a deal where all these death pensions that troops have had part of their check taken out to be put into life insurance, let's just take that money. It was trillions. And they took it. But the veterans groups, oh, well, we don't talk about that. Patriotism is worshiping the foreign banks that have hijacked and taken America over. And then I've met people that have served seven tours and had automatic re-ups and forced back in, fine print of the contracts. I mean, they didn't make you serve but one tour in World War II or Vietnam or Korea or World War I because they knew more than that, if you wanted out, get out. And then even if you wanted to stay in, two years max, because it could screw you up. It could absolutely screw you up. And now they put them on psychotropic drugs that the insert says can make you commit suicide or go haywire and kill others. But every time a veteran does something wrong, they blame all veterans instead of blaming the system that did this. But statistically, veterans still are some of the most law-abiding people out there. The media is hyping that veterans, while saying they love them and they're the best people in the world, oh, but they're the main danger, Homeland Security. Why, look how this guy's a veteran out there who shot three cops. That's why we need predator drones. The robots can be trusted. And I just cannot believe that the left is cheering this guy. And, and I mean, I got CBS News here saying that he's a... I'm living in the twilight zone at this point. Chris, I'm going to get to others. I appreciate you holding. Finish up. I know it's hard for you to talk. If you don't want to, I understand. But uh, you talked about them being guinea pigs for drugs and things, a lot of experimental stuff. Uh, your family member that committed suicide, uh, can you... I mean, what do you think happened? Uh, who were they? I definitely think it's tied to the vaccines and the psychotropic drugs that they're practically forcing down our troops' throats. I don't want to make this about me, our struggle, my family. This is about all. No, of no, our I understand, troops, but we have our, to our listen. American listen, you family. have to, you have to, you have to. You don't have to. I'm saying it's good to identify an individual to humanize them. You see, they don't want to put a face to this. I definitely want to take this chance to talk to all those troops out there that are listening right now that might have had that thought go through their head of suicide. We need you in this fight. 
We don't need you to lose your life anywhere on any battlefield, especially one in your mind. You need to turn that energy toward yes. this info war and go after somebody in the Illuminati, somebody in the New World Order, just like right now. Alex Jones, you're not telling the truth about hiring Mallory Mahoney. Oh, and you I appreciate somebody. your call. My gosh, that caller calls in and sits there and obsesses over stuff. It's unbelievable. Uh, let's talk to Ron in Arizona. Ron, you're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Alex. Um, I got an email a couple of days ago from a buddy of mine uh, in the Air Force. We served over in Germany in the 70s. And it was called The Last Words of So-and-So. And I thought he had committed suicide, and his wife had sent this out to, you know, all the people on his email list. And I just got a, you know, obviously I sent an email back, and I just got an email from him saying, no, I didn't kill myself. Uh, this is just preparation for it. But... I think the reason why uh, a lot of these guys in the military are committing suicide is because uh, it's just too much pressure. And especially if you're under the fear of being blown up by IED. Every you know, that's something I've never thought of. I, I am less afraid of being killed than I am of being locked up in some dungeon. And so uh, that, that's something that I really never thought of. Are they committing suicide, a lot of them, when they're being forced to go back just because they're so sick of it all? Well, yeah. Also, the living conditions are horrendous. I mean, I never went bivouacking when I was in the Air Force. Uh, one of the guys I served with uh, went out on a bivouac. But it's – you're out <laughs> – out in the the wilderness or the wild or whatever you want to call it, and you're living in uh, tents and sleeping on the ground and eating the lousiest food you could ever imagine. Now imagine these guys in Afghanistan and um, Iraq doing that for a year or more at a time. Well, on top of it, they're putting them on the psychotropics. They're re-upping them. The IRS is going after them at home. They're going bankrupt. Uh, a lot of that feeds into it. They've never, I mean, let's say you're supposed to put 50,000 miles on a pair of tires. They've put 300, 400,000 miles on these guys. And then the media doesn't want to focus on it. They want to just demonize the veterans and say, oh, they're dangerous. When statistically, they're not that dangerous. But hyping it up every time one of them goes haywire. Thank you, Ron. I'm glad your buddy didn't commit suicide. Sandy in Texas, what's your story? Uh, I was in uh, Iraq in 2004, and I was in Afghanistan in 2007. And as a nurse, I was just absolutely astounded at the number of troops on drugs, uh, some of them three and four different types of psych drugs. Sure, sure ma'am. When you called us, you were on a, a handheld deal. You're on speakerphone right now. I'd really like to be able to hear you. So whenever, when the callers go on air, let's, let's, uh, let's go to the actual handheld deal. Can you go off speakerphone, please? Yes. Yeah, go I ahead and start in over. I was in Iraq in 2004 and Afghanistan in 2007, and I worked in medical, and I was just absolutely astounded at the number of psych drugs these troops are on. One individual can be on three to four different types of psych and still be given a, a weapon and sent to Afghanistan or Iraq. And in Iraq, uh, we had multiple in 2004. It was ridiculous the amount of suicide. And that's hard to do with a with a uh, yeah, I'd love to be able to hear what you're saying. It's so important. I'm going to put you on hold and see if we can call you back or if you can call us back on a landline because that, that cordless phone or whatever is out of batteries and it's, it just plagues us, the quality of phones in this country, cell phone, landline, you name it. Uh, oh, okay, well, that's all you've got. Go ahead and finish up then. Uh, so you're saying you worked in medical and they were on what, Luvox, you name it? Ozark. Just, just go down the list of lithium-type drugs, um, all of them dangerous, every single one of them. And people on two and three different types of them. And um, 
the vaccines on top of that, I mean, we took, when I went over, we took the nasal, which was the live vaccine. Ever yeah, absolutely. You tell been... you're a nurse. You know how deadly that is. Ma'am, call us back. I'll give her our hotline number. I'd like to get her on as a guest. I want to get her on as a guest. As a guest. I want to get her on as a guest. As a guest. I want to make sure that happens. We'll be back with more of your calls on the other side. Stay with us. We're going to put her on hold. More of your calls coming up. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. It's no secret that pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, moles, and fungus can inflict severe damage in the human body. Fortunately, a new and vastly improved silver solution has been developed. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary, broad-spectrum, antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal solution that can be used inside the body as well as on the skin. Supernatural Silver is unique and superior to colloidal and ionic silvers using a patented technology that is highly effective against colds, flus, infections, food poisoning, and yeast, in addition to many other pathogens. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported, extremely safe, and is the number one choice of thousands of people for immune system support. Find out how Supernatural Silver could change your life. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code HEALTHY for 20% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com and like us on Facebook. If you want an American company with American products made by Americans, here is the Cal Ben Soap Company. Alex and his staff have used these pure soap products for years. These all-natural soaps are made from the highest quality vegetable and coconut oils that are earth-friendly and safe. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. Buy the one to two month sample package and enjoy soaps that are twice as good as what you're using now. Or save big with a one to two year supply of soaps for all your cleaning needs. This is an amazing deal. You can save thousands of dollars and you will love the way real soap makes you feel. See them on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091 for a free catalog. You prepare by purchasing gold, food, and firearms. But if you don't have a home security system, then you're missing a critical weapon in your arsenal for home protection. When you're sleeping or away from home, who's watching out for intruders? Check out Simply Safe. It's a new do-it-yourself home security system that is completely wireless. Go to GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is independent and off the grid. It runs on battery power, so even if the grid goes down, you're protected. It's completely customizable, so you can use it in your home, business, boat, trailer, storage unit, or shed. GetSimplySafe.com. Simply Safe is also ridiculously easy to install yourself in under 20 minutes. So there's no need to let a stranger into your home. If you move or need to relocate, you can take the system with you wherever you go. You aren't always at home, but Simply Safe will stand guard, protecting your property 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Again, that's getsimplysafe.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. You are listening to The Alex Jones Show. All 
All right, we got three or four more callers who say that they've had friends and family commit suicide or new people in the military that did. But we got Sandy on a better line. She was a nurse in medical. And the statistics are there. I mean, you heard her. They can put them on three psychotropics at once. They put foster children, 68% of them national average, on an average of seven drugs apiece. Many of them psychotropics because they get more money for a special needs child. So they'll make you special needs to get that money. And some foster parents, some people in the system are not immoral and don't do that. But a lot of them are in a culture where you just make excuses for whatever gets you ahead. So you can go get more money for foster kids you've got on seven drugs to buy that Gucci bag that you're selling your soul for. But they're now reporting uh, that the drones, uh, again, are chasing uh, the suspect. The drones are going to save us, the, 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 the reported person shooting police. It just goes on and on. But notice, uh, you, two weeks ago, you had Al Sharpton say, hey, forget your second amendment for government. We got drones to take you out. Really, the drones couldn't hold Baghdad. They can't hold Afghanistan. One guy's got Southern California paralyzed in fear. If the globalists start a civil war, ladies and gentlemen, there's no way they'll win with physical force. They're going to stage terror attacks against soft targets with children and blame the Patriot movement for it and stage a PSYOP. Why is it this a PSYOP? They would never do something like this where one of their people does some of this. And this whole background and how they want the, the image of they're the good guys, you're the bad guy. You understand that? And the whole MO, the background, all of it. If it is staged, I haven't seen the angles yet. All right, Sandy, who was uh, working in medical in Iraq, uh, talking about uh, what she witnessed. Recap what you said, because it was very important, but some of it was breaking up. Um, we're talking about people that know folks that committed suicide in the military, how the media has been trying to cover this up and not make it a big issue, and, and what people who've experienced it, what they think is causing folks to commit suicide. So, Sandy, go ahead and recap what you were saying. Yes, I was in uh, Iraq in 2004 and in Afghanistan in 2007 as a nurse, and I saw all the troops on these psych drugs, everything from serotonin uptake to uh, lithium-type drugs, some individuals up to three different types of psych drugs. There was no screening, no psych screening for these people. They just went through the, um, the tour and they said, okay, what type of psych drugs you're on? And they just wrote them down and there you go. You know, we'll just keep refilling you. But these people would have uh, breakdowns. They would crack up. They would be involved in incidents. And um, this went on and on. And, and suicides over there, too, which is hard to do with an M16 or an M4 rifle. You literally have to almost use your toes to pull the trigger. And a lot of these deaths were under very, very mysterious circumstances. Like we had uh, a, an attempted suicide and a suicide at the same time. And one was uh, in finance where they were missing millions and millions of dollars and uh, as soon as uh, this person turned up dead they said it was suicide and I was about to say a lot her. of these suicides are actually fraggings because there have been hundreds of deaths where fraud investigators from the army the marines show up at a base and then uh, get killed uh, in the uh, trailer you know, where they're running their accounting operation and uh, you're saying that you were around some of that as well Exactly. The, these people, they called everything over there was suicide, um, even though there were some that they actually had to, to say was murder. But they had troops murdering each other, which was a real shock. A lot of that didn't uh, go on in the other wars, but there's a lot of it going on in Iraq and Afghanistan, troops murdering each other, and then the suicides, and then the mysterious deaths on top of everything. And I was concerned with all the drugs. Uh, the people that are walking around with loaded weapons on three and four psych drugs, let alone just one psych well, drug. Well, I remember and five years ago hearing about Blackwater, now XZ, on cocaine, running around naked, shooting up families for fun. And I thought it was, you know, left-wing propaganda or something until it came out years later in federal court. It was going on, reportedly mountains of cocaine. So if that's going on there, imagine what's happening on the other side 
we are just an immoral nation on average and it's going to manifest in the military but you've got the the officers like royalty flying around with their camp followers and their basically paid prostitutes uh, and then you've got the troops in lice infested uh aircraft c-130s flying back to iraq defecating in buckets that's come out in the news it's just a system coming off the rails on more and more fronts uh do you concur with what i just said Oh, yeah, I was there. I've been in the bottom of some of them 1C, 130s, 135, the nasty, and the bathrooms don't work. But And the conditions over there are deplorable. People would say, well, you know, that's just most of these people are just depressed, you know, from the conditions that the soldiers have to be in. Boxes, they literally, in uh, Iraq, they literally lived in railroad boxes during the summer with 120 degrees heat in Iraq. You're living inside a metal box. While in the green zone, there are hookers lined up around the block and <clears throat> everything else. Oh, and there's so much illegal drugs over there. I mean, I have pictures from Afghanistan where, you know, the troops would just bring back, they'd take pictures of the marijuana fields and bring back samples and stuff. It's so much of it floating around, it's just listen, beyond. Listen, you, you heard about the 60-something billion in pallets of cash where they would give privates 30 grand, they would give captains 100 grand, colonels 200, 300 grand, generals a couple million. That was to corrupt them, just like they bought off the local warlords. And, you know, I've talked to family about it who was in Iraq, and they go, I'm not going to talk about it. Don't ask me about it. Uh, and it's like, yeah, right, I like that new truck and that new house. Uh, I mean, that's what's going on. Is this the total seduction of our military? And uh, but, but I believe the psych drugs are the number one cause because the insert says massively increases suicide, megalomania, mass murder. And you're saying as a medical worker, what a nurse, that you concur with that. I mean, yes. It, here in the civilian life, that's bad enough being on these type of drugs that will trigger suicide. But you take that person and you put them in a stressful situation or a combat situation, duh. Well, again, what psychotropics do is they take away the inhibition and the anxiety. And so normally you have a feeling you want to kill somebody. It's just a feeling. And let's be honest, everybody's had the feeling of, of just a compulsion of choking somebody or, or, or you know, something like that. I mean, if somebody tells you they have it, they're lying. You take one of these drugs, well, you have the compulsion, you just do it. It takes away the inhibition. Anything else you'd like to add, ma'am? Very powerful call. Um, um, people need to be concerned about the... Um the vaccines. When we went over to Afghanistan, everybody got the live vaccine, which is the nasal vaccine. And they went around and made us hold our head back and they counted to like 20 or whatever. By the way, that's and illegal they, to give in the U.S. That's got live viruses in it. That's right. By the but way, they, they gave, gave you, they gave the you going over there. That strain and has you know SV40, it um, has cancer virus in it. Go ahead. I came back with exotic diseases that even as a nurse, I'd, I had barely heard of. I came back after the live vaccine. I came back from a one-year tour in Afghanistan with Hashimoto, autoimmune thyroid disease, Raynaud's disease, um, vitiligo, which is a, a skin autoimmune disease. Yeah, no, they're using, and, look, look, it's, it's been, they shot up gay men in New York and other areas with, it, with the hepatitis vaccine with HIV. That's come out in congressional reports in the late 70s. They use the troops as the vectors now. And you're a nurse, you know what that means, but they shoot people up to then come back and bring it back. They're in, just like the atomic soldiers, the DU, all the guinea pigging, the black men in syphilis, they're using you. And while saying they love you, would you rather be patted on the head at the Super Bowl or would you rather not be given all these diseases? I would rather not have the diseases and everybody I know, I go to the VA hospital and we're all dying of cancer. Body, body, well, ma'am, ma'am, the 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 nasal vaccine you were given, what was it, a polio vaccine or a flu vaccine? No, it's supposed to have been the flu. Yeah, no, cancer virus city. I mean, folks, more of your calls coming up. This is unbelievable. God bless you.
Looking back on 2012, I know personally I'm thanking God that my family and I made it through the year. From natural disasters like Hurricane Sandy and the devastating summer drought to the family hardships brought on by a disastrous economy, our hearts go out to those that have lost everything. My friends at eFoods Direct hear from customers every day that are fortunate to weather life's storm by having a supply of food on hand. Danny from New York City wrote in following Hurricane Sandy and said, Almost all the grocery stores are closed, but I managed to get my eFoods just in time to be able to help my sister and my niece. Bottom line, it's better to be prepared 10 years too early than one day too late. Heed Common Sense's warning and do what I've done. Call 800-409-5633 today or go to efoodsdirect.com forward slash Alex. They have the best tasting long-term storable food on the planet. Call 800-409-5633 and ask about the Alex Jones special or go to efoodsdirect.com forward slash Alex. Get self-sufficient today. Call 800-409-5633 or efoodsdirect.com forward slash Alex. Now that we have moved into the winter season, there is an increased need to support our immunity and health. At Silver Lungs, we are committed to meeting your needs by providing a full selection of silver-based products. Our most popular silver-based products are the 32-ounce Nano Silver Solutions, our 2-ounce Nano Silver Nasal Applicators, as well as our all-natural silver soaps. Just released is our 100% natural silver gel. Our new silver gel is not based on synthetic gelling agents, which quickly evaporate and leave the silver at the surface. But rather, we have formulated our silver gel using the natural skin nourishing chemistry of aloe vera to quickly penetrate and nourish the skin while delivering the silver more effectively. Visit www.silverlungs.com and click on our store page to find what silver-based products are best for you. That's www.silverlungs.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. It's no secret that pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, moles, and fungus can inflict severe damage in the human body. Fortunately, a new and vastly improved silver solution has been developed. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary broad-spectrum antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal solution that can be used inside the body as well as on the skin. Supernatural Silver is unique and superior to colloidal and ionic silvers using a patented technology that is highly effective against colds, flus, infections, food poisoning, and yeast, in addition to many other pathogens. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported, extremely safe, and is the number one choice of thousands of people for immune system support. Find out how Supernatural Silver could change your life. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code HEALTHY for 20% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com. And like us on Facebook. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic. It's Alex Jones. Okay, here's the deal. I intended to get into this, and I will on the weekday show, because it's three hours tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central. 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Mountain. Websites, InfoWars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. China eclipses U.S.'s biggest trading nation measured in goods. We've got an article up at InfoWars.com. Top banker uh, drops bombshell. In fact, let me give you the actual headline up at InfoWars.com. I'm just going from memory uh, on that. 
Uh, but if, again, when you guys punch up InfoWars.com, so I can give them that James Wolftonson uh, headline. It's very, very important. But I'm not going to be able to get to that right now because I promised to go to your phone calls and I want to hear from people that have lost friends, family, or uh, others from suicide and what they believe caused it. Now, there it is. World Banker makes stunning confession. And that's uh, James Wolftonson, former head of the World Bank, saying you're going to be poor. They're going to get rid of the middle class in the United States and Europe. But he doesn't tell you it's by design. They script the whole thing like, gee, this is happening. And again, it's the ultra rich getting rid of the middle class and the nouveau riche. And knowing about this is the way to stop it. Here are some of the headlines. China eclipses U.S.'s biggest trading nation. Um, Fed's holding of U.S. debt, that means private Federal Reserve, hits a record $1.696 trillion. 16 plus trill, almost 17 trill. The Fed's bailout of European countries with record 237 billion injection into foreign banks in the past month. It's not the countries. They're, they're giving a blood transfusion to the vampires, the same private banks that run this country who aren't free market. How Obama is wielding executive power in the second term. Yeah, turning into a dictator. Obama to propose spending to boost jobs in state of the union. <laughs> He's doing everything he can to get rid of jobs. Uh, he knew when he increased taxes on people, it would it would shut down jobs. That's just some of it. Matt in Michigan, tell us tell us your story, sir. Uh, my story is about my uncle um, and the signs to look for when they try to go cold turkey and just quit taking them. I was 16 at the time. I'm 30 now, and I had seen him on a Wednesday, and he seemed like his mind was really racing, um, and he kept asking me anything wrong? Can I ha help you with anything? And I was not wise enough at the time to understand that something was wrong with him. So I'm again on the Friday, same thing. I knew something was wrong with him. To be clear, you're saying he went off serotonin reuptake inhibitors. He was not in the military, but, right. he, but, but he went off of them and then killed himself. Yeah, they'll make you commit suicide, but going cold turkey, boy, that's when they really, that people, people really kill themselves then. Well, absolutely, and, and what the reason for my call is that if anybody sees these signs, they can interject and, and maybe stop this from happening. At the time, I was so young that I didn't understand it myself. Now, if it happened and I saw it again, I would take action to help divert this. Scenario. Real fast, tell folks what he was doing, talking real fast, having anxiety. Real fast, he was, he was, he was um, um, super passionate about, you know, can I help you with anything, what's wrong with you, and his mind was racing. Almost like uh, maybe somebody that was on crystal meth or, meth or something like that. Yeah, no, it has a speed um, effect, also an hallucinogenic effect. Sure, and then it came to a Sunday, and that's when his uh, trigger just flipped on him, and he, he did some things that were pretty wild. Uh, when the police showed up, he ran to the pole barn, and he took a thirty out six, and he and he ended it. And this was somebody that was super good looking, super charismatic. This was way beyond anything that he would normally do. He had a great um, life, but they put him on these drugs for whatever reason. Like, it's, oh, it's no big deal. Everybody's on them when they're in the hallucinogen class. God bless you. I appreciate your call. You know, a few months ago, four or five months ago, a police officer responded at Walmart to a man walking around the aisles with a gun. And it turned out he was on an antidepressive, antipsychotic uh, drug and mixed alcohol with it. I mean, you know, and the cop showed up and just shoots him for no reason. The guy didn't even know who he was. You know, the Sergeant Bales who went and killed 18 innocent Afghans was on psychotropics. I mean, it's just, you see this over and over again. And I'm not saying it's okay what they did, but I mean, you know, you don't put somebody on something in the hallucinogen family, and then when they go out and do something crazy, put them in jail. I mean, it's the drugs get the blame, and they get the blame because we need to get these drugs out of there. And the psychiatric system is running the Pentagon, and they are just putting the troops on this stuff. Ten years ago, they wouldn't hire you for the military if you'd ever been under psychiatric care or, bit, or even been on Ritalin. And it's in the amphetamine class, not even the hallucinogen class. I mean, amphetamines are nothing compared to hallucinogens comparatively when the violence, if you look at the statistics, and they wouldn't take you. Ten years now, they, they just take you the last ten years. And it is a crazy, 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 crazy what they've done. Uh, let's go to James in Arkansas. Well, before I go to James, I want to put him on hold and say this briefly. I'm so sick of hearing mainline neocon fake conservative talk show host on radio and on TV and all the rest of it. Oh, I love the troops. Oh, I, they say the troops 
When they say that, they mean the agenda of the globalist. They just wrap that with the troops. But they never talk about how they're used as guinea pigs for drugs and vaccines. They never talk about the five, six, seven, eight tours. They never talk about the drugs. And I care about everybody, foreigners, troops, police, myself, my family. I have empathy. I'm a regular human. I'm, I'm on team human. I'm on team America as well because we've got the best Bill of Rights and Constitution and I'm an American. Going back to its founding. And I love this country and I'm angry about what's happening. And I want everybody to get a fair shake. You know, so many people, I saw some video criticizing me going, Alex doesn't know you can buy stock in the New World Order and these companies and get ahead. I know you can do that, but you're not going to have any future buying into the evil, thinking you've got a power trip. Uh, let's go to James in Arkansas. James, what's your report, sir? Yeah, thanks for taking my call, Alex. It's a pleasure speaking to you. I'm a first-time caller. Welcome, sir. Yeah, I had uh, I was in the Airborne Rangers, and I had a friend that uh, he went to a different company that wasn't so good, and uh, the corruptors, those that were into evil and so forth, just kept harassing them and stressing them out and so forth. And uh, I got to speak to him before Block Leave, and he was definitely into a hypnotic state. And uh, during Block Leave, it turns out he uh, 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 supposedly he played Russian roulette. He shot himself. And uh, it's all to do with the, this, like, the spiritual and psychological warfare. If you're good or decent at all, you know, just a good godly warrior, and there's any evil, corrupt, or bad folks in there, then they want to uh, come after you, uh, stress you out, harass you, uh, and uh, try to infect you with what, uh, the dark side, in other words. No, that's exactly what they do. I've experienced it, not in the military, but... Uh... Politically, and, and even growing up, I've been run into that. And, and absolutely, they're trafficking in souls, and they want your psyche. They want you to join them, or they'll come after you. Yes, and what's really helped me out a lot, I was in a parachute accident and so forth, but I, you know, I made sergeant in two years and so on, but I got a hold of this. Um, I tried to plug something, but it's helped me out so much, and I'm not on any pain meds anymore, and... Uh, uh, you know, I'm not drinking well, it. Good, good job, sir. Day. They want to get you on drugs so they can take your rights from you and say you're bad. They want to get you on drugs to say you're a bad person, like you're a convict. That's their plan, to take your constitutional rights by inducting you into a psychiatric system or a penal system. Let's go to Rick in Oregon. Last caller we have time for. Apologize to the others, David in England and others who had incredible stories. Tomorrow we'll cover this as well. Rick in Oregon, last caller. Go ahead. Yeah, there's a couple of things I want to touch on here. Uh, one, I did have a friend that took his life. I'm a veteran myself, and uh, I was actually uh, out of the military and going to the VA and trying to seek help, and they were telling me, what are your issues? Um, I have anxiety, depression. Um, I, I can't sleep. I'm hypervigilant. Okay, well, this is what's wrong with you. You have post-traumatic stress symptoms. This is what's We're wrong with you. you. You're a man. You're supposed to be kicking butt, running businesses, standing up for yourself. That's normal. You're supposed yeah, to be right. hypervigilant. That's how I feel. Go ahead. I'm sorry. So, yeah, they're, well, they're telling me that they're, these issues that I were having uh, needed to be handled uh, through, through uh, this medication. So I was willing to take the medication because I was definitely suffering. Within a short amount of time, I realized that these uh, drugs that I was taking were hurting me, not helping me. Uh, within a month, I had a friend that was coming back. Uh, we crossed paths. Uh, he was relieving my, my unit that was there. He was complaining about depression while he was there. They sent him home. I know he was on medication as well. They actually, because we were reservists, just sent him home after two weeks. Sure, what he happened to him? We're almost out of life. time. What happened? He, he wound up taking his own life. He, 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 he took his life. Um, I, <laughs> I, I've thought about taking my life. I have friends that have thought about taking their life. I know many people, including myself, that have put Don't the do in that. Mouth. Help the poor. Get a relationship with God. The spiritual systems can help you. God bless you, and I appreciate your call. Call me back tomorrow. I feel terrible having callers like that left on hold from Arkansas, Oregon, Colorado, Alabama, England, you name it. That's it for the Sunday show. But you heard it, the drugs. The drugs are killing them. Guys, just, man, go out and help others. That will help you. That's, that's, that's what's happened to you. God can heal you. 
Looking back on 2012, I know personally I'm thanking God that my family and I made it through the year. From natural disasters like Hurricane Sandy and the devastating summer drought to the family hardships brought on by a disastrous economy, our hearts go out to those that have lost everything. My friends at eFoods Direct hear from customers every day that are fortunate to weather life's storm by having a supply of food on hand. Danny from New York City wrote in following Hurricane Sandy and said, Almost all the grocery stores are closed, but I managed to get my eFoods just in time to be able to help my sister and my niece. Bottom line, it's better to be prepared 10 years too early than one day too late. Heed Common Sense's warning and do what I've done. Call 800-409-5633 today or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. They have the best tasting long-term 